This is Twit. Um, and then, uh, oh, actually, I'm just getting some breaking news. I'm going to go to the Twitter right now. And Lemmy Orhan Ergin, yeah. who has just tweeted something kind of scary. This is a security flaw that affects High Sierra, the latest version of Mac OS. Be assured you need, the bad guy would need physical access. And of course, when somebody has physical yep. access to your machine, lots of things, bad things can happen. But this one's a bad one. I'm sure Apple will push out a fix very quickly. If you go to users and group in the system preferences, you know, it's locked, right? Click the lock to make changes. Use the word root as username. No password. First time might not work. Second or third time it will. You're going to get... Huh. Yeah. And that's not the worst of it. He's just using that as an example. You can actually log in to a locked machine, according to him, using the same technique. So if you <laughs> come up to a machine that's, that's locked, enter the <laughs> yes. word root, and then apparently the word root password is blank. And uh, <laughs> root, by the way, just so you know, is a super user in, uh, in, yeah. in Unix operating systems. It means you could do <laughs> things. And I'll give you a little, uh, uh, here's a little tip. If you do get in as root, uh, go, to the, uh, stop watching go to the terminal and type oh, RM. God, am, I, am I glad to have switched to Windows? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just going to keep this Windows machine plugged in for things uh, other than podcasts. <laughs> RM-RF uh, star. Uh, just hit return and the entire uh, hard drive will be erased. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, there you go. Uh, that feels good. I mean, fa famously, the original iOS, it, it was root alpine for everybody. <laughs> yeah. This is, first of all, uh, I'll, I'll say it again. I'm glad Lemmy Sorry. found this. I'm glad he tweeted yes. it, I guess. Might have been nice to tell Apple before he Just tweeted it. Apple yeah. first. Yeah. That's kind of the rule in the security uh, field. But uh, Apple will certainly push out a fix to this fairly quickly. And yeah. remember... If somebody has physical access to your system, you're screwed in many ways. Although this is a particularly bad one. Listen, no, listen. This is about as bad as a. Yeah. We we were we were all having great fun talking about the calculator bug. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is, is kind of bad. Really super. I'm sure bad. Steve Gibson will I've, have some fun with this later in this show. I I I didn't I try it yet because I'm podcasting, but I but there's so many yeah. people who said that they got it working. Yeah, I think I, I think we've tried it here. Patrick Delahanty tried it. It worked oh, on God. his system. Yeah. So. We're, we're going to see that's that secret un, unannounced feature of the new Apple campus where they can flood the middle of it for like mock mock naval battles like the old Coliseum. And we're going to see a bunch of product managers and engineers in gladiator gear <laughs> as part of their punishment for letting this happen. Saying, now, granted, we will not you don't you will not die, but you will be escorted out of the building if you lose this mock sea battle. This this is bad. This is very, very bad. Not good because, of course, if you work in an office, Apple should feel very bad about this. Yes, Apple should have an. There should be an email. <laughs> there, there should be like some sort of announcement saying that we acknowledge this is a this is pretty horrible. We have put measures into place to ensure that this the problem of this magnitude is unlikely to ever happen again. This yeah. is just bad. If uh, if but the good news is if you forget your password. There you uh, go. There you go. You just log in as root with the no password, and uh, yeah. Do you remember in. there was a, an iCloud keychain bug a little while ago too, where it would it would mislabel the files, and you could get the it would mislabel the fields, and it would give you the wrong. It would just show the password. It seems like there's something went really goofy around High Sierra security at some point. Wow, High Sierra has been. I have to say, iOS 11 and High Sierra both have had a non non trivial number of bugs and problems. More than I think, is it more than I, before? More than usual? No, I think iOS 11. It's it, it's it's mostly again for current pain. But High Sierra, when you add in the window manager and some of the security stuff, and when you factor in that it was supposed to be a stability release, you know that was a big marketing thing that they were they were going to correct a lot of the problems. I think that's when it becomes problematic. Mm -hmm. iOS 11. I, I think you know I, there's bugs every version of iOS. I'm never happy with them, but High Sierra seems to seems to have quite a a bit more issues than Sierra did. Uh, by the way, after you log in, maybe the first thing you want to do is launch Keychain Access. Again, it works on Keychain Access, and you can see in uh, in the clear all the passwords stored in the Apple Keychain. <sighs> you might want to write those down for future use. Uh, but hey, have you have you seen how thin our new our new Mac MacBook is? Look <laughs> how thin that is. You might you might yeah. want to take with you when you leave the <laughs> office. Uh, take the power supply. I don't know. What could you take with you? There's Take it all. Don't leave yeah, your computer at the office. 
it, it turns out that the place where the puck is going to be has no security. So God. before you before you God. sharpen those skates, this is really bad. I'm sorry. This oh. is really super bad. It is we as bad as We should be making fun get. of Apple for this because this is super bad. Yeah. Well, the only way it would be worse is if you could log in over the internet. <laughs> now, okay, <sighs> here's a workaround. Uh, somebody suggested, and I think this might work. Uh, uh, before you <clears throat> leave work, go into the terminal on your uh, on your Macintosh. Uh, log in as root, which is the command is sudo, S-U-D-O space S-U. You are going to log in as a super user. You will obviously use a blank password to do so. And then uh, create a password. Use the word P-A-S-S-W-D. And it will ask you for a new password. You can use blank as the old password and create a new password. Let's see if that works. Patrick, will you try that? Patrick can you, I wonder if it's a if it's a terminal bug, though, or if it's just in the GUI, because otherwise you'd still need the root password. Uh, well, let's out. see. Um, yeah. Let's see if that Could works. Could you also do a, a firmware password? I don't know if that would help with this. Yes. Well, that, that might be another solution uh, if you have to go home from work today, <laughs> is to turn on a firmware password. Um, here's a uh, here's a here's a GIF of it uh, working in German. Oh, there he goes. Nice. Let's start over. So the first time it rejects the blank password, which makes me think maybe it isn't a blank password. So he types root as the Bonutzer name. And uh, but nuts and nama, and then blank, and that works. And now he's now he's got full admin access to the. That's terrible. That is you're right, Andy. That's as bad as it can get. The only thing worse would be if it worked over the internet.